Welcome, Welcome to, to this week's choice. choice. Again, you did it. <laughs> and, and this week we are heading north. North, really just driving distance. Yeah, to Ontario. To Ontario. Cashaboy Outpost. The In guys Fern are Duquette. going back up to Ferns. That's right. And, you know, Fern is... This a is nut. a place, oh yeah, he's nuts, but the crazy thing here is this is actually a place that you can cure your moose mania fever on a budget. On a budget. It's affordable because it's just right over the border. Right. And I mean, you sh if you get a moose, you get to drive all the meat back home, and that's the best eaten Absolutely. meat ever. Moose, baby. Ever. This week's lucky logo is Hoyt, though, so you need to look oh, for the Hoyt yeah. logo. Oh, yeah, Hoyt. You can't wait to see what they got in store for get you. Get serious. Get serious. Yeah. At the end yeah, of the Hoyt. show, we'll tell you what to do with that. Okay? Yep. So now let's not waste you? any time. The guys are heading up to Ontario. When they get there, they can do some sighting in, get make sure their TCs are on, and they have no doubt they are. That's right. So let's follow Freddie and Robert, shall we? Moose Mania, Ontario style. <laughs> Got my brother man Robert North sitting behind the camera right now. Got the TC 300 Win Mag icon in the back of the truck. Heading up to Cashaboy Outpost. So it looks like we're not going to have to worry about any hot weather for moose hunting this week. <laughs> 31 degrees right now. Uh, before we fly into camp, Fern thought it better that we. Uh, that we test our guns here rather at camp just so that when we get in we try and keep it as quiet as we can so we got moose lungs like that put them right here that's a dead moose guns on the money let's go kill a moose i was busting on joe and zendel in alaska about that how long are you gonna think it's gonna take for you guys to go broke back <laughs> out there in the wilderness all two weeks by yourselves <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the choice. Now, Freddy's up. Let's see if Freddy can squeeze does that have, TC trigger. Does he have moose mania? We'll see. Let's see. I just heard a quit. I just heard a branch snap up here. Over there across the channel, I heard a branch snap.
Here we go. Ready. Let me tell you what just happened now that I got my composure and I'm no longer crying like a girl. We came out this morning. We came through this channel last night on the way back and uh, we spotted a cow and a, what we think is a calf last night. And uh, when we came back this morning, the cow was back in the channel up there feeding. And uh, she kind of made her way off and Fern did some calls and all of a sudden, like Fern said, I just, I heard a crack over there across the, across the creek there. And uh, he started coming down the hill. And he come down and come right to the water's edge and turned broadside and Robert said he was on him. And that TC Icon 300 smoked him. And here we are on day four and my bull's laying in the water. Thanks so much, Ralph and Vic and Robert for coming up to film me and Fern and Cache Bowie Outpost for having us up and of course the Lord for helping me make a great shot and for that animal expiring quick because he didn't last long. I know we got a little bit of work ahead of us now. I have no clue how we're going to get him out of that creek, but if I have to dive in and pull him out myself, I'm going to. <laughs> Here he is. As you saw, he didn't drop in the most opportune spot in the middle of the creek to be exact, but uh, the hard work doesn't mean anything to me. Here I sit behind my first moose. Now the work starts. The the, pulling the trigger is the easy part on these animals, so we've got to get him tagged. we got to start getting him cut up. I would have to assume it's probably about noon or one o'clock now. By the time we got him out of the creek, that took a little bit of work in itself. So uh, we got to get him tagged, start getting him cut up, and get back to camp. So again, I got to say thanks to Fern up here at Cache Boy Outpost, and Ralph and Vic and Robert. Good Lord, this is a this is a memory I will take with me to the grave. What an awesome, awesome day up here. Oh my god. Way to gosh. go, guys. Did you see? Freddie's Freddy, like, woo. And everything was shaking. It was pretty oh, funny. It was perfect. I mean, that's the adrenaline rush. That's why we do what we do. Kids, it's real simple. There is no drug, there's no alcohol on this planet that gives you the true adrenaline rush that wild hunting can. And please never, ever forget that. And don't go anywhere, though, because when we come back, Robert's up next. Oh. We'll see if he can beat this it's shaking. Ontario Moose with Fern Dequette. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna try it again this evening. I like, got a few, a few days left to burn, so I'm probably not gonna be very big. Welcome back. Now, let's not waste any time. No. Let's get into Robert's hunt. Let's see how it goes, huh? Ooh. Yeah. Emotions high. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, 
last hour, there's a huge bolt right down here. We can't get close enough for 200 yards. Fern's got a place to set up. We gotta slowly get over here, get our shot. This is a giant bolt. This is what hunting's all about. My heart is pounding right now. Don't you hate us when we do that? Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. We'll see if Robert gets a shot at that moose. Welcome back, suspense killing you. Do you think they like us? Oh, they hate they us hate now. They hate us right now. Let's see if Robert does. Let's oh, see. baby. <laughs> God. <laughs> Are you trying to be kidding me? This is a dream come true. Thank you, Freddy. Thank you, Fern. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. What do you say? Thank you, Ralph and Vic. Thank you, Freddy. Thank you, Fern. Dad, that one's for you, buddy. That one's for you. That is for you, Dad. <laughs> this, is the, this is the last evening of our hunt. This is the last evening of our hunt. We put a stalk in it. I would never guess what happened. When we left camp, I said, there's no way. This is a one in a million shot. <laughs> I'm the luckiest man to ride alive right now. I, I'm not believe. <laughs> Fern, <laughs> Fern. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so much. No, Thank you. Easy, no, no. Oh, I didn't know if the first time I hit him or not. Then he kept moving, so I just dropped a, I dropped a monopod, and I got on him again and just put another one in him, and he was down. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, Freddy. No, no, You're the fun. man. Love you. I love you. Oh, I did not think this was going to happen. Dad? Dad, are you sitting down right now? Dad, I just shot a monster. Fern, come here, my dad wants to talk. Okay. Hello. I'm pretty good, really good now, and he's not joking. It's, we have it, we're, we're, still, we're still 160 yards from it. Um, he thought of you the second he dropped it, he was, yeah, he said you'll be you'll be happy with that. It it, it you know we'll find out uh, when we get to it how even it is, but it's King Kong. So I'm I'm happy for you guys and yeah. Anyway, the first thing he said was my dad will be happy. So here's here's Robert again. Oh, oh you're welcome. <laughs> All right, love you, Dad. Well, we're here in Ontario with Cachaboy Outpost with Fern Duquette. Uh, this was an incredible hunt. This was the uh, last evening of our hunt. We shot this bull last night. We ran out of camera lights. So we had to come in here and do the recovery again. So, uh, you know, we're, we made a stalk through the thickest, nastiest stuff that I've ever seen. Uh, you know, I knew Ontario was thick, but until we started making this stalk, I really did not think this was possible of the noise we were making. But uh, Fern turned around as we walked 
probably after we walked about 1,200 yards, and he turned around, looked at me, and his eyes were as big as soda cans. And he, he looked back and said, there's a huge moose. And at first I thought he was joking, but then I saw him, and my jaw dropped. I started shaking. Uh, Freddie got me calmed down, and we, uh, we wound up slipping over to a rock, probably the only available spot to actually shoot. And uh, we put two in him, and he only took about five steps, and that was it. Uh, he's, uh, you know, on his downhill side, according to Fern and uh, another one of his guides, Jim, they, uh, they've seen this moose over the past couple of years, and they, they're guessing him to be about 9 or 10 years old. I mean, it's just an amazing animal to be able to take and uh, get out of the herd. Hopefully his genetics are around here. But, uh, you know, this was an incredible hunt. The stock we made, uh, everything about it. The uh, moose hunting is fantastic up here. And not only is the moose hunting great, but the fishing is even more incredible. Uh, before we went on this hunt, we were uh, staying at Fern's house, and Fern's daughter, Danny, came down and gave Freddie... Uh, her good luck charm that she made. And because of that, I truly believe that's the reason Freddie was able to kill his great moose and to kill this absolute ah, a giant. Uh, this is an incredible hunt. I'd like to thank Ralph and Vicky for giving me this opportunity. Freddie for being right there over my shoulder the whole time. Fern for putting, you know, knowing where this moose was and busting his butt trying to get us one. My dad's dream has always been to kill a moose. And unfortunately, he hasn't been able to do that. Uh, hopefully someday he will get his chance. But, uh, because I was able to get this opportunity, I'd like to say this one's for you, Dad. The emotions. I mean, to, can to you think about? He's actually living the hunt for his dad. Right, and and the I phone calls that we got on that oh. trip between Freddie, Robert, and Steve. That's what it's about. It's about being out there and experiencing and fulfilling their dreams and, and sharing it and sharing it. It's and you know, that's, awesome. that's what we're so blessed with, you know, with, with, with Archer's Choice and the choice yeah. that we are able to share it with everybody. Absolutely. I mean, we, you know, we thank God every day and, and please don't think we ever take this for granted because we don't, you know, we can't thank mm -hmm. you all enough for taking the time out of your lives to sit there and share these hunts and these adventures with us. And, you know, our message has never changed and it never will. It's real simple. We don't care with what you hunt. If it's legal in your state, province, or country, let's stop the fighting amongst us. Let's look at each other as brothers and sisters, and let's all join together and fight for the same rights and the privileges and the honor for that all we can, that we all can call hunting the greatest lifestyle on this planet. Absolutely. Now, if you happen to see the Hoyt Lucky logo, oh, buddy, you need to log on to ChoiceTV.com. Click on the lucky logo button, fill out the information, and someone's going to win some great stuff from Point. So we want to again thank Fern, thank everybody for taking the time to make your choice. The choice. See you next week.